image formed by a convex lens. Students, first let us look at some examples of constructing ray diagrams of convex lens. Let us draw a ray diagram when object is at infinity. We take two rays, one passing through the optical center of the lens, which passes undeviated after refraction, and the other ray parallel to the ray passing through the optical center, which after refraction deviates and meets the ray at focus. So, when object is at infinity, the image will be formed on the other side of the lens. And the nature of the image will be real, as it can be obtained on the screen, inverted and highly diminished. Now, let us look at another example. When object is at 2F. Students, first consider a lens. Then draw a principal axis. Now locate the principal focus and 2F on both sides of the lens. Then draw the object AB at 2F. Now, draw a line parallel to the principal axis and touching the head of the object AB, the line after refraction passes through the focus F on the other side of the lens. Take another ray coming from the head of the object and passing through the optical center O of the lens. The ray, after refraction, passes undeviated and meets the previous ray at 2F. Hence, image MN will be formed at 2F on the other side of the lens. The nature of the image will be real, inverted, and will be the same size of the object. Now, the object beyond 2F. When an object AB is placed beyond 2F, the image MN will be formed between F and 2F on the other side of the lens. The image will be real, inverted and diminished. Now when the object is placed between F and 2F. Students, when an object AB is placed between F and 2F, the image MN will be formed beyond 2F on the other side of the lens. The image will be real, inverted, and magnified. Now when the object is placed at F, students, when an object AB is placed at F or the principal focus, the image will be formed at infinity on the other side of the lens. The image will be real, inverted, and very much magnified. Now, let us construct the ray diagram when the object is placed between the principal focus F and the optical center O. Students, first locate the principal focus on both sides of the lens. Then draw the object AB between F and O. 
then draw a ray touching B of the object and parallel to the principal axis, which, after refraction through the lens, converges and passes through F, the focus. Now, take another ray touching B of the object and passing through the optical center, which, after refraction, emerges undeviated from other side of the lens. Here, both the rays do not meet each other. Let us produce the rays back with the dotted lines. Students, in doing so, the rays meet at a point. This is the place where the image MN will be formed. So, image will be formed on the same side as shown in the figure. The image will be virtual, that is, it cannot be obtained on the screen. It would be erect and magnified. Thus, the image formed in a convex lens is virtual and erect only when the object lies between the focus and the lens. This property of a convex lens is used in making a magnifying glass or a simple microscope or hand lens.